So with the fires out here in California again, I figured I'd do a comparison to just show how the fans with filters, like the box fans, the 20 inch box, fan, box fans, with the HEPA filters or the, um, you know, was it MERV 13, something like that, uh, the difference that that can do. So we've had the house closed up all night and this is on the Dylos DC 1100 Pro is what I'm checking with. Let's see what's on the back. On the back, I think. Yeah. So this has. Oops, if I get it. So there's the the air quality chart. It doesn't really work great for what I see, but hopefully that's readable. So that's what the numbers mean. So. Based on that, um, you know, it's between fair and poor, but then again, well, fair and poor for fifteen hundred, but uh, that can also mean, uh, you know, just pollen in the air, etc. So the house has been closed up all night, and I've had one fan, one twenty-inch fan, running with a two-inch filter on the back of it. Um, and that brought it down from like 4,000 to this. And this is fairly stable. You can see it's dropping, going up, dropping, going up. So let's see what happens when I open the door to outside. Because uh, the door is right there. So let's see what, let's see what it does. So opening that up. Feel a little bit of air coming in, but it's not. It's not going too crazy. So luckily the air isn't too horrible outside, but it is going up some. There also isn't a lot of cross breeze. I'm sure if I opened up the front door, this would blow a little harder. So let me go try that and I'll come back. So with the front door open, it is going up a little bit, 1750, so it went up a ways, but again, it's not, it's not currently too horrible luckily, that most of the, most of the smoke is at higher elevations versus down uh, near the ground, so in any case, it went from the 15 1600 to 1760 1770 1780 so yeah it just depends on the air blowing through see there we're up at 18 so it's slowly going up so what we'll do uh, and again depending on how the air blows and stuff it goes up and down just like if you smell pollen or smell a tree and then the air blows the other way you don't smell it. it's the same kind of thing so let me close this back up and then we'll do the second part of the comparison I'm gonna turn some additional fans on to see uh, and watch this go down all right the doors are closed again and now we're there so I brought in the two from the garage because that's where I have my extra fans so this is the one that's normally hanging on the ceiling. Uh, it's just a 20 inch box fan with a two inch uh, filter. 20 by 20 by two. It's one of those filter by fans uh, or, and filter combinations. And then this is a 20 inch box fan with a one inch filter. So if I turn both of these on high, it's gonna get noisier, but. And then I turn this one on high. Assuming that doesn't fall over. Alright, so theoretically we now have, well, not theoretically, we do currently have three fans running with filters. So I would expect, based on that, that this should start going downward.
and it may take a bit, but there we go. So you can see the small particles, you know, just about every time it ticks, it trends, you know, up a little bit, then downward, but overall it trends downward. So that's the, the and the, it, there was quite a bit of air <laughs> that got displaced in here, so it may t also take a little bit. And also these fans are blowing along the carpet, so it might be blowing up some dust from the carpet. But you see it went from 1660 to 1640, now 1620. So just that quick, you can see with two additional fans turned on, one with a 20 inch, or one with a two inch filter, one with a one inch filter, you can see how quickly it tends to trend down in a room. Now granted, I have one fan sitting right there and one fan sitting right there and one about, the one that's been running about 10 or so feet that direction, but it's that noticeable. And it's even more noticeable when the, the numbers are higher because you can definitely see it dropping. And I see this same effect uh, in the garage and that's why I like having two of these running all the time when I'm working on garage projects because um, you can you you know it's, it's definitely noticeable and like I said the first time I uh, first time I tested this before I realized how good this was uh, I had opened I'd been doing some sanding and so I opened the door to air it out and then the levels went from like 3,000 on the left hand number to almost 9,000 and that's because it was a windy pollen day and the dust ended up coming in from outside. So when I closed it up, it slowly worked down and the levels dropped way down uh, inside the garage just with the two fans running. So you can see this has dropped over a hundred since we closed up the door. And eventually it will reach a steady state. But with the three fans, that steady state is much lower than with just, than just with a single fan. So yeah, that's the, that's what I wanted to show is just the effect of, you know, having two of those fans and it's just the box fans with the HEPA filters uh, and it can help with smoke particles. And like I said, the, in previous video, back last year and when the California wildfires were really bad and it was like very poor to hazardous outside the small number uh, on the left was 30 to 40,000 outside and with four fans running with filters I was able to keep it about 6,000 inside which means yeah that's not great but again I've had a 6,000 to 8,000 reading just with pollen and dust in the air from just normal outside so they were almost down to 1500 so I would expect you know this would keep going over time and dropping like see now we're down at 1400 so that's almost 200 dropped in six minutes so uh, that's pretty good. That's why I, I recommend this as a dust sensor. Granted, it's a little bit expensive, but it works really cool. And I also recommend the fan and filter combinations because they definitely work really well. And you can see it's now down almost to 1400 instead of 15 and 16 and 1700. So, yeah. Hopefully it was useful for somebody to see, but those box fans and uh, the, I definitely recommend the two inch filters versus the one inch filter because there's much more airflow. I don't have an airflow meter, but there's much more airflow on the output side of the fan versus the one inch filter. So that means a lot more air is getting run through here, which means a lot more particles can get uh, filtered. See, now we're down closer to 1400 so anyway that's it for this one 
it's been another five or so minutes and it dropped another 150 or so 100 150 so it's below 1300 now so yeah i definitely recommend this